So I'm Akiko Karachi. Um, I am now, uh, my baby is now six months, almost six months old, and uh, so I wanted to talk about my birth story. Um, I myself is an OB. Um, I deliver babies over at Northwest Hospital, and uh, it's been about five years now since I've been on my own since finishing UW residency. So for me, it was just kind of an experience. I really wanted just to see how things went and um, experience it for myself just so I can be more informed for my own you know patients who I you know uh, are, are with or the pregnancy and deliveries and just to see um, you know, how how it is for myself so um, and I can tell you I've been asked maybe 10 times a day to see whether I'm gonna use an epidural or natural every every day of my pregnancy and I was like well let me just see I want to see what transition feels like that was my goal um, but yeah, it went so well. So I, here I go. So when I first started labor, um, I was it was uh, I had just finished working that day. I was two days after my due date. Um, I had asked my OB to uh, strip my membranes that day because I was saying, "Okay, let's get it going, Gina." And so she did it uh, for me, and I I was kind of like, "Wow, that's a stronger one than her previous, you know, stripping of membranes that she did for me." Because I wasn't giggling anymore at that point. Um, I said, "Okay, let's go home," and um, I went to uh, my husband and I went around Green Lake and we walked all around Green Lake that afternoon. And I started feeling those contractions come about every 15 minutes or so. And after that walk, we said, "Oh, maybe we should go have dinner because this might be our last dinner out for a while." So we called my parents up and we went to dinner um, downtown, a nice little restaurant. And um, by the time dessert time came around, my mom was saying, "Let's have dessert." I said, "Well, mom, I think maybe not because I'm starting to feel these contractions come pretty strong, and I I don't think I can focus on dessert." So we went home, and uh, we then. Um, began, uh, I, I began having these contractions that were just super um, regular about every five minutes um, coming through. I, I still insisted I wanted to go to sleep because that was, at that point, it was around like 11 p.m. And so I'd go, go into my bed and then wake up and you know, need to be, you know, my, my husband would press my back for me in between the contract or during the contraction and then I would go back to sleep and try to, you know, rest as much as I could. Um, around three in the morning, I, I said, well, these are just, you know, pretty intense every three to seven minutes. I think even though they're kind of irregular, I'm going to call. And we went into the hospital and uh, my nurse checked me and I was uh, at that point four and a half centimeters. So, but it was good because I was already three centimeters dilated before I started labor. So it took me that long to get to into active. So then uh, at that point, uh, they let me, um, you know, kind of walk around in the hospital. I was still able to chat and talk in between contractions, but I breathe through the contractions themselves. And then um, as I was you know, getting to about seven centimeters, people were still really surprised because I could still smile and talk in between and uh, walk around the, ha uh, the halls. Um, and I had taken a bath that kind of relaxed the contractions a little bit. Um, and at that point, I kind of got a little bit more um, longer in between the contractions to the point that they were just getting too mellow, I think. And despite me doing lunges or walking around in the hall um, and doing, actually using the breast pump that the nurse suggested that I do um, to try to get the contractions going, and uh, they were getting closer with that, but uh, ultimately I didn't change from seven centimeters for about um, you know uh, three hours. Or thereabouts and so meanwhile my OB who was wonderful Gina she came in and she was checking me we were chatting and she would say okay I need to go deliver another baby Akiko but I'll come back and we'll see where you are so then um, at that point uh, you know she, she returned I had still hadn't changed so she broke my bag of water and at that point I was like oh la 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 everything's fine until I really felt those really amazingly strong um, contractions that were you know more transition and I said wow okay this is what labor is really about <laughs> and at that point I could not sit still I was you know um, bouncing on the ball I was walking I actually did a, you know the whole kind of typical hee hee hoo uh, breathing and uh, I was dancing also with people like ha having them look into my eyes and hee hee hooing the whole time <laughs> and I was really, really tap dancing through the end um, at, at, at that point I did start changing I was thrashing around in the tub I remember and uh, at that point the um, I had become so close to pushing and um, you know Gina said we're almost there so start do, you know kind of do some squats and so I was like, doing some squats I remember <laughs> to see if that contract or cervix will just cha change for me 
And at the point that she was like, it's time to push Akiko, then I was like, no, I can't, <laughs> because it was so intense. Um, you know, briefly in my mind, I, I kind of remember thinking, I would like an epidural. I wish I had an epidural. But then I, at that point, I said, you know, I can't even sit still in bed for even a minute. There is no way I would be able to get one in and have it be at all work for me. So I was like, okay, let's just get through it to the end. And I was trying to push on different uh, places, including the toilet, um, not in the bed. I couldn't stay in the bed um, and squatting and nothing really worked well. So actually my doula and friend um, Melanie suggested, oh, why don't you sit on the birthing stool and, you know, we have one of those, you know, so I, I did and it actually worked so great. I was able to um, curl around my baby, push and really try to be um, proactive as much as possible when I uh, felt the, you know, intense pressure. Um, you know, people were cheering me on at the end, you know, everyone, my husband was supporting me behind me on the birth, birth stool. It was just an amazing moment. Um, my mom, who started chanting at me in Japanese really strong at the end, you can do this, you're not a karachi if you can't do this, you know. And so I, the lot of she started chanting the part I apparently pushed and uh, then my baby was born. And at that moment, Gina, my OB, said, Akiko, your baby's born. Bring your hands down so you can bring her up to you. And I said, no, I can't. <laughs> but then she, you know, I, she convinced me and I brought her up to me uh, right here on my chest. And we just looked down at her, my husband and I. At that moment, it was just so like, wow, I just had a baby. And, you know, the, the nurses were just amazing at keeping a baby right here with me and rubbing her and, you know, kind of saying, okay, hi, baby, we're here. And then the moment she just had that first cry, it was just amazing just to see her, you know, um, yeah, be in my arms, you know, after so long. And, um, yeah, and I, I thanked her for, you know, such an amazing pregnancy and, yeah, and uh, coming out safely. And then, yeah, so then... Um, at that point, you know, we just kind of all were together. I had the most amazing, you know, team around me, you know, people I just, um, you know, trusted it so much. And uh, it was just a wonderful moment. I would always remember it for forever. <laughs> so I guess that's what I would say.